I mean, I had Reverend Mark Hankins talking with Brother Copeland on his program last week. And he was talking about this principle of speaking to the mountain. And he said something. He said, listen, God did not say that because we have faith, the mountain will not come. He said, but the mountain will depart at our commandment and never return again is what he guaranteed us. And then he said something. All right. He said, when my wife Trina had a brain tumor 30 years ago, he said, every day we will speak to the tumor and command it. Now, this is different from just praying that God should heal her. They pray, they believe God healed her every day. They'll pray about it, but he says, we were talking to the tumor. In the name of Jesus, you depart from her body. In the name of Jesus, we curse you. We curse you in the name of He said, by the time the oppression came and they opened her up, there was no tumor there, but they spoke to it. So what I want you to see, there's a difference between you praying for someone to get healed and then you're going to the hospital and doing something that you know that God has healed this person, but somebody has to transfer that healing into this person's body. So every day you go there, you lay hands on that person and say, you are healed in the name of Jesus. I say you are healed. Now you are doing something. You are applying something to that body. Now, see what Jesus did here. He now said, Lazarus, I say unto thee. He says, Lazarus, come forth. All right? So with a loud voice, he called Lazarus. He spoke to Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says, Lazarus came forth. Now, so he prayed, but he still spoke. That's why on, um, when, um, when we pray at 5 a.m., I always, after the prayer, I take people through a confession, and the last part of the confession is to talk to the things that you have just prayed about, which means you speak, all right, to those things. He said, Tabitha, all right, if he got up after he prayed, the prayer will have been answered, but there will have been no transference into that body, and it will have been the same. So somebody says, well, I prayed for my business to grow from, from 50 clients to 100 clients, and I'm waiting for those 100 clients to come. If you have prayed for the 50 to grow to 100 clients, and God answers that prayer, then he expects you to open the window every morning and say, you other 50 clients or 100 clients, wherever you are in this city of Lagos, this nation or the world, I speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ, you come forth. And every day you say, I speak to you, you come forth. Every day you speak out every day or else the answer will be in you and not be on the outside how do we know this where did they get it from all right from the book of second kings chapter 4 verse 33 to 35 second kings now elisha was told about a child that died and see exactly what elisha did and when he went in therefore and shut the door upon two of them and prayed to the lord and he went up, that's after he had prayed, and laid upon the child. Now, this is what he's doing. There is a law in scripture called, and I'll say this and you see throughout scripture, called contact and transmission. In other words, for the power of God to be transmitted into anything, there has to be a point of contact through which that power will get in. The power is generated, but there must be a point of contact with that thing for the power to be transmitted. So power is generated in the, in, the, in the generator there. It comes into this building, but there must be a point of contact for that power to show forth in this building. So there is the switch. If you don't put it down, then that power is generated, but the building can still be in darkness. So there is something called the point of contact for transmission. So the woman with the issue of blood said, the point of contact is if I would touch the hem of his garment. Jairus said the point of contact is come and lay hands upon my child. All right? All right? Peter said to his mother-in-law's case, Jesus, come and lay your hands upon. Now, the Roman centurion was the one that impressed Jesus the most because he chose a point of contact that Jesus said this is the most powerful. He had sent them to tell Jesus to come to his house to lay hands on his servant. At one point, he changed his mind. He said, Jesus, listen, I'm a man under authority, a man in authority. I speak and things respond. You don't have to come to my house and touch my child or my servant. Speak the word only, wherever you are, as a point of contact, and transmit that power by the spoken word. And Jesus turned around and said, you mean you know this? Nor in the whole of Israel have I ever seen this kind of thing. And he spoke, and the man went, and he was healed. So this is the law of point of contact. So when he had prayed, he went up. The point of contact he used was he lay upon the child. He put his mouth upon his uh, mouth there. 
his eyes upon his eyes, his hands upon his hands, stretched himself upon the child, and what happened was the child's flesh waxed warm. Now, understand this, every time you speak, every time you lay hands, something happens. It may not be the fullness that comes, but something is transmitted. Every time something is transmitted. The fact that it doesn't happen fully at first doesn't mean you are not transmitting anything. The body of the child was warm, but the child wasn't yet alive. So, next verse, the Bible says he returned and walked in the house to and fro. In other words, he was praying again. He knew what he was doing. It was like a science. He understood it. And then he went up and then, it's not just religion, no, let's just pray. He knew what he was doing, that we are transferring power. He then went and stretched himself upon him again. And this time the child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes. In other words, through prayer, you receive the life of that thing. That's why it tells us in Acts 4, when they prayed, they knew the point of contact. Grant to thy servants with all boldness, they may speak the word. The Holy Ghost was poured forth, they spoke the word of God and released it into their lives. So you must learn after praying to now start talking to things. 